uh, I think Oblivion is a heavy favorite for Nocturna because he's been playing so much of Nocturna, it's ridiculous. You'll notice uh, right off the bat, yeah. some bat moves. Nice. And yeah, he, that was more lucky than you... hmm? That was more luck than anything that he just found those trapdoors. Oh, find the trapdoor? Yeah, although it's kind of odd that Duplis isn't checking that room. You know, he, he might look at it and think it's a regular room and not a secret room. Huh. Yeah, one of the downsides, uh, I've said this before, of mapping is you see things that are going to make you go a different route than if you didn't have mapping. And sometimes the route you would take without mapping winds you up finding a trapdoor a lot easier. Mm. Oh, because he did the, the toggle mapping? He did the toggle mapping and he oh, saw all okay. the enemies to the right, so he went straight right and missed out on that trapdoor room. Yeah, it seems like Oblivion doesn't seem to like toggle mapping very much. Which is no, he does not toggle map. Um, by the way, Oblivion has found oh. the uh, whole bunch of everything. He's got a really nice build off the bat. Uh, He's doing three damage yeah, like with if those he doesn't, uh, earmuffs. Oh, oh. Does that? Oh yeah, they don't break going on trapdoor. Yes, okay, which is great. I'm really glad that's a thing. Yeah. Was that made that way or? I uh, probably I intentionally did that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm a big fan of that because that would suck if it re if it moved. It's like the negative aspect of. Um, Floaty boots, right? It removes your ability to take trapdoors, which is no good. Yeah, I mean, spiked ears uh, are quite difficult to keep intact anyway, so they don't need any additional agreed yeah. uh, difficulty in that sense. Oh wow, he just took, just ambushed that dragon. I love the face tanking the dragons; it's good. And he's hanging yeah. on to these earmuffs longer than anyone really should or does normally. Well, oh, I mean, it's, it's magic so death good by Dupless. Ooh, I think that was a panic uh, shield spell when he could not afford it. He cashed a check he could not afford, and down he goes. So he's back uh, to zone one. That's interesting. He's going to use that form for this. Very interesting tactic. Although you don't snag yeah. as much with bats. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Picking up uh, the rat. He loves the rat. Is he a, does he like rat? I oh, it looks like he likes it enough. He gets mad at it from... I've heard him complain about it a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, he might be just using it for now that he's got enough damage, although that could go away very quickly. Let's see. Oh, those slimes. Uh, Interesting. So that spiked ears has been doing a lot of work for him, really. A ton like, of work, that's yeah. He really is kind of powering his run. Going very fast. And that's, like, pretty rare. You don't see the spike deers, although I know they're new. Hmm. I don't think they're supposed to be super rare, but... I don't know. No, I just mean it's rare that they last this long in a, in a run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> yes. Especially because, you know... Uh, oh, I like the muffled things... thing. I never noticed that before. Because usually I lose them quickly. <laughs> yeah, so they... Uh, they protect you against tempo changes and, like, banshee screams. Yeah, that's cool. Because you have headphones on. That's fine. Are they in the lore? Are they playing the music through the headphones? Or has wow. that not been <laughs> determined? That's. I mean, is the music. Maybe the music is coming from your heart anyway. Oh, so it's just. It's like a jawbone speaker, but from your heart instead. I gotcha. I, I like. Yeah, well. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> well, I thought there were speakers around the crypt. Am I wrong about that? I thought in the crypt you see speakers. Oh, Is that you? wrong? That might be wrong. Oh, like in, in on the walls. In zone four, yeah, I thought you did, but I don't see any right now, so I might be full of it. Oh, those uh, oh. armadillo parries were pretty vital. Man, Oblivion, Oblivion still has not dropped a beat. That's pretty great. entire run. There were a few opportunities where it was clear that the right move would have been to drop a beat had he not had the earmuffs. Yeah, like um, I think you would have intentionally dropped the beat by now, but it's just impressive that oh, that's you know, a lot of damage. He was able to not accidentally do it. Uh, I eat that carrot, <laughs> too sweet. He might be saving it for zone five, but oh my god! And this is what I remember from watching him play uh, Nocturna: is he really rushes into the zone five rooms? Very yeah, it's because he likes the conduit. Like he likes to get on it fast so that yeah. he can handle the swarms, right? Oh my god! <laughs> it's so crazy. 
Yeah, I feel like this, that the way he's playing Nocturna is what people are gonna start to play it more like, which is where you can really pressure. It's kind of like having courage. Like you can just push very, very strong. Oh, that, that rat's gonna actually cause him problems. Nope. That's true, it. yeah. He has to avoid accidentally hitting Corliss with the rat. Nicely handled. Still got the earmuffs. Yeah. The others are really quite efficient kill. Yeah, this is a pretty impressive run so far. Dublis is going pretty fast though. He's like on 4-1 already. Yeah, he's catching up. Yeah, 3.30 into 4-1. Pretty good. But it's, it's, I mean, Oblivion's looking pretty comfortable. Yeah, Oblivion's got uh, a nice just, situation. Which Even is kind of amazing, because, like, he doesn't have much in his build, right? He has, like, spiked ears, which, you know, it helps your damage, but it makes... Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. That was a smart play to hit the uh, Gorgon there, because if he got frozen, he would have tanked a lot of hits. Yeah, that three damage is really good. Uh, high damage... I damage Cutlass. Real nice. And he's on to yeah, this already. Pretty fast run. Six minutes. Oh my god. And he's just pushing it. And he and he can. He's got Oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> he could even turn into a bat and it'll be fine. Oh, he lost his spiked ears. Why, Oblivion? You could have done the whole run with spiked ears. Wow. That is well played. Silly that was fast. really fast. 618. Good lord. How do you keep up with that? And not with any kind of, you know, Warhammer cheese. It was just yeah, that was... Cutlass spiked deer is like the whole way. Yeah, that was really impressive. That might be the seated world record. I'm not positive on that. Lost those headphones right at the end. Shrine of Silence makes you deaf, Allo Banshee. I have no idea what the benefit would be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ruin the game. Give you Bard. That's the only way to really fix that. <laughs> Permanent heart transplant effect. Permanent heart transplant. Yeah, oh. it's just Bard. It's not good. <laughs> 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 I mean, Bard's great, but having that in another character is kind of weird. It would Although, make every character, your optimal strategy would be find, find that. Yeah. That, it on 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. it's shooting cat. That's a so, nice start. the Zeta Cat, you know, at one point was the best weapon in the game, right? Or, like, close to it. I'd say uh, it's just behind every other Warhammer now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's say they find a base Warhammer. Would they switch to base Warhammer from Obsidian Cat? I feel like Dupless would. Oh, Obsidian Axe? Interesting. Oh, he likes Obsidian Axe better than Obsidian Cat. That's interesting. I, I can see it. I mean, it's... Yeah. Obsidian Axe is kind of a better rapier, I guess. You don't have the double I think damage. It, I but... think it's like just a style thing. It's right, like how, you know, Rapier Cat, there's no kind of one answer to which one is better. Yeah. And, you know, Axe, axe versus Rapier, I don't think there's really a one answer to that either in, in a way, so. Hmm. Tough call. I don't oh, know. I gonna feel like it? the majority of people of the high tier racers prefer cat over rapier pretty much straight up hmm. but we'll see what where the other uh weapons lie in that and that is a glass axe now very nice oh so he 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 glassed his obsidian axe that's interesting wow. that is interesting it might i guess be he for feels the like he has to go really fast a glass shovel can be really useful especially here Who that's knows? true well, he didn't have a he didn't have a bomb, so that was actually really important. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, it did shift towards cat. I also prefer rapier, but that's because I'm bad with cat. There's those spiked ears. Not enough gold, but a torch is nice. Getting spooked by something on the other side of the wall is bad usually. Nice little face tank of that da uh, dragon for Duplis. Um, and uh, Duplis just trailing behind. Yeah, Oblivion. they're really close, though. Super close. This should be a pretty comfortable feeling build for Oblivion right now. It's pretty standard. Oh, oh, bad is Oblivion going to check that? No, he isn't going to check that. So without the torch, Oblivion probably will waste a few extra beats here. 
not sure where to break uh, through. I guess he's feeling like he wants to save his bombs because he only has four. But yeah, it's a situation where I would be tempted to use the bomb because it's just like too many stone walls. Yeah. Oh, Although wow. okay, this, this is, is quite a. He handled it very well. That two three swarm though. Yeah, he did handle it very nicely. Three damage is gonna make this death metal a little faster than the death metal for Dupless. It's one of those rare situations true, yeah. where uh, three is better than four. Yeah. Because uh, after yeah. four, death metal teleports. So if you do three and then you do another three, that does six before you teleport. Still a really fast death metal though. Oh yeah, it's a matter of beats. It's not. <laughs> it's not by a lot. Uh, yeah. That is an earthquake scroll though, or spell, which can be good. Earth spell. Got it. Oh, earth spell. Yes. So, my bad. I'm used to saying Earthquake Scroll. You're bad at Keck because you forget you're not Melody. Well, the upside is that you can attack directly in front of you. When you have a cat instead of Melody. All right, Circle of Telepathy. Well, a cat, With you the get Nazar Charm, though, that's pretty, pretty much cool. perfect. There's a glass cat fine for Oblivion. Skipping on that. Don't blame him. Although that's kind of the opposite of what Dupless did, getting the glass axe over the obsidian axe. Yeah, I mean, glass cat is a very... Uh, yeah, I guess you've got a bit more range with the axe. Low range glass weapons are really scary. Yeah, like, because glass cat is like one of these weapons that is kind of, I think, theoretically, like, maybe... In the original game, it's like, theoretically, the fastest weapon, right, probably. But, uh, so risky. Oh, very nice 3-3 uh, three, three for Dupless there. He's hot oh. on, on uh, Oblivion's heels. He Oblivion lost his beat, which means if there's some like amazing ring in here, he won't get it, but. Yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see what Dupless which... ends up going for. We'll see if Dupless even checks. I think he would check. Yeah, he he'll is check. checking, and it is a uh, free scroll. Not so cool. much. This is bad. Uh, it's kind of bad now that they're in. Oh no, Zone Four boss. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, zone so he four has boss one more boss to use it. it. Or air panic button because he's got glass. He could even just use it for like the four three exit. This is true. Yes, uh, something that's been popularized by Jack Games is the freeze every Zone Four. That classroom. warlock is so scary. Like he he was thinking about attacking. He's like no. Yeah, I need to uh, deal with this right now. Yeah, that warlock was in a real sketchy spot. So right. they're like neck and neck. Yeah, this is wicked close. There's a, oh, and it's going to be uh, because of that glass shovel. That's a... Whoa. Uh, Holy crap. There's so many armadillos and harpies. <laughs> this 4-2 this is bad. Oh, no. Yeah, the gigantism makes him immune to ooze. And that's that a broken cool. glass there. That was a statue combo. Oh, that earthquake. Just to... Oh, Paper Dubless lost his glass. Okay, so Oblivion's really good shape then. Yeah, Oblivion's much better shape with that very safe first weapon they found there. City uh... Cat. Ooh! Jumps oh. right into a, a oh. Goblin Sentry. Or a Goblin Oh, but bomber. it blew up the Peace Shrine. It actually like, worked out really well. Oh, funny. You got a Ring of Peace for it. Ooh, and I like this, but uh, wait. Uh, whoa. What? what? He moved the Shriner over. <laughs> Uh, wow, That's I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah, makes sense. That's pretty funny. Uh, so we did get plus one damage there. Not sure if worth. I mean... I, this frog of... Oh, he got rid of his freeze uh, spell. That's well, now he has a rapier. This is like a perfectly yeah. acceptable build now. Two, three rapiers, not bad. And he's not actually that far behind. So he has a, he has a chance. Oh, that was a nice goblin bomber there. Very friendly. <laughs> Wow, things got sketchy there. He he actually was really close to blow himself up from a pixie. I don't think he even saw it. And, and he has the Earth Scroll, so he has like yeah. fastest possible core riff. Yeah, just push. I wonder just if push. he's. Yeah, I don't think he should check chests. Uh, he did. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, <laughs> it's a rare <laughs> weapon. Oh, and now he's checking all the chests. Oh, no, never mind. That was just an excellent mapping situation there. Wow, yeah, that he gained a ton on that 5-1 there on on Oblivion, who is about to drop down uh, to his 5-3. This is, uh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, of course he has war. Oh, but the Minotaur ran away. 
so Oblivion is almost just finished 5-3. Yeah, so Oblivion's going to be which... hopping down to his Dead Ringer now. Okay. Which but means... they do have to do the full Dead Ringer and Necronancer. So... Yeah, Duplis is going to... Oh, and here's Oblivion doing the weird strats. His weird oh, is this strats. like a cat strat? He's got all kinds of crazy weird strats. Oh, okay. no, this one was just... Oh, uh, what? that was odd. Wait. Actually, no, I remember that's one of his there? strats is the get hit strat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Seems like I think so. It might be a cat-specific strat. Well, Dublis is now on uh, on Dead Ringer, and I don't know if he's going to have much of a quick kill here. I'm using the Japanese strat here, keeping that unloaded crossbow for... Um, oh, jeez. Not good. This is off the rails. Ooh, handled. What? He really handled but that. But he probably just doesn't have enough time here. No. Unless... Oblivion's already got three hits on the Necrodancer. Unless there's some brutal uh, uh, red dragon spawns, which don't appear to be happening. Nope. So this is going to be Oblivion 2 owing Dupless. Two wow. incredibly close races. Well, no, yeah, sorry. That, Oblivion that, had a uh... crazy Nocturne run. Yeah, the, the that. second race, though, was really <laughs> that close. That second race is really close. Probably if Duplis hadn't broken glass, like he 